and welcome to Delegation Snippets, a series of short videos designed to give you just a couple top tips to think about when you're looking to delegate more work more efficiently and more effectively to your team so you can get on and do other things. And this is a short one today because there's a lot that we can delegate to our team and some of those tasks, some of those functions are important complicated, there's a risk that if it goes wrong it could have serious implications to the business. And then there are some functions and tasks that we can delegate to our team which aren't that big a deal. They might be easier to perform, they're lower risk, Nothing's gonna, nothing bad is going to happen if we don't get it right the first time. And we sometimes worry about what's going to happen if we do delegate to our team and they get it wrong. So there's really two levels of control that we need to consider keeping when we delegate. Because when you delegate, you're giving up control, right? But if it's important, we don't want to give up too much control. So control level one basically looks like this. You're saying to your team member, show me it before it's due so I can check it. In other words, I want to see your progress along the way so we can correct if you're going the wrong direction. We want to make sure that you're doing it right and that you're uh, working to the time scales that we need. So I want you to keep me updated. I want you to show me progress. Show me it before it's due so I can check it. Control level number two is just bring me the results. Come to me when it's done and show me what you've done. And that's the level of control that you would offer if you were confident that the team member was going to do it well, or if it was a low risk function. In other words, if it did go wrong, nothing bad is going to happen. We'll just learn from our mistakes and move on. So there's different levels of control that you can consider employing depending on the importance and complexity of the task. Remember, we don't want to micromanage but we do want to make sure that we're staying involved and we know what is happening for those important tasks. And for the less important tasks, we don't want to know about it until it's done and we've gotten the result we want. I hope that's helped. Keep an eye out for further delegation snippet videos and click the link below if you want to have a quick chat with me about how to employ this in your own business.